Hi, Phil Rainey here. I'm just making a video about how the Earth's magnetic field and how solar output uh, relates to each other. I was studying uh, about the Earth's magnetic field. The scientists say they found out these electrons orbit around the Earth at near the speed of light. Um, the scientists were trying to work out what propels these electrons to travel so fast and had different theories about what propels them. It's a huge current going around the Earth. Not a huge number of electrons as electrons go, but a huge current because they're going so fast. Uh, God took me on a bit of a circuit and I was reading in quantum physics how some people had a theory that positive and negative charged virtual particles appear in a vacuum for an instance of time. I think they got this by shooting an electron through a vacuum and having it deviate off course, attracted and propelled by the virtual particles. This is what I think makes the electrons orbit around the Earth at near the speed of light. The electrons are pulled, attracted to the virtual particles, but tend to follow around the Earth's magnetic field, as in the equation that is given for orbit of a charged particle in a magnetic field. If you take that a step further, you have the Sun, which also has a magnetic field around it, which I believe positively charged protons orbit the Sun, making the magnetic field I believe the positively charged protons orbit the sun's magnetic field at near the speed of light in the same fashion. Because the protons are a lot heavier than electrons, with the relative mass effect due to the high speed, they get very heavy and exert a lot of gravity. I think this is what dark matter is. It gets relatively heavy as per Einstein's relativity theory. This raises the question, where does the energy come from to propel these protons? The scientists say energy cannot be made or destroyed. Now it seems to suggest that energy can make energy. This could be used to make a machine to make power. The galaxy moves through space and it moves through space with different levels of cosmic rays in different areas of space. That is positively charged protons. The more cosmic rays, the more dark matter takes orbit around the sun and the more electrons are neutralized in, from the electrons orbiting the Earth. The electrons orbiting the Earth have a magnetic field of their own, as it is an electric current, and I believe this locks with the magnetic field uh, caused by the circulating charged particles in the Earth's inside. If the electron current orbiting the Earth becomes overwhelmed with protons and becomes positively charged instead of, instead of negative, then the magnetic field of the Earth flips as that's what determines what direction its charged particles move in. Also, this causes the solar output to go down as more protons orbiting the sun, the more dark matter that exerts, exerts, exerts gravity and an opposite to the pulling in self-gravity of the sun. I believe the helium in the centre of the sun fans out amongst the hydrogen, slowing the nuclear fusion. And uh, that's all I have to say for now. Over and out.